For convenience to our contractors, Elevate offers a pre-molded inside-outside corner flashing piece for ease of application. When installing an outside corner using Elevate pre-molded corners, you need to follow a few simple steps to achieve professional results. The first step is to cut the pre-molded corner to fit the outside corner application. Cut along the dotted line along the top edge of the pre-molded corner and remove the top molded flashing. You will want to round square corners to promote proper watershed. The corner is now an outside corner. Next, warm the corner using the handheld welder to make the material more pliable and easier to manipulate. The anchor points are the vertical and horizontal angle change of the corner. Place the corner in its desired position and weld the three anchor points first. Pull back on the vertical angle of the corner and apply the hot air to weld the vertical angle change to the installed curb or wall flashing. Once the vertical angle change portion of the corner is welded into place, weld the two horizontal angle change portions of the corner into place. Once these three anchor points are welded into place, weld the remaining flat areas of the pre-molded corner. Weld the vertical flat area at a 45 degree angle away from the welded anchor points. Now, weld the horizontal flat area away from the welded anchor points. By welding the material in this sequence, you will achieve a quality weld, preventing air pockets and wrinkling of heated expanded material. When installing an inside corner, we will perform many of the same steps as the outside corner with a few differences. When looking at the inside corner, it is very similar to the outside corner because they both have one vertical and two horizontal seams at angle changes built within the corner. This time we cut the dotted line that removes the large horizontal section of the TPO corner. We want to ensure that we weld the three anchor points again first. Put the inside corner into place, then change and weld the vertical part first. That will ensure that the vertical seam of the inside prefabricated corner is tightly welded into the vertical angle. Next, choose one of the two horizontal angle changes by placing the nozzle in behind the prefab inside corner and welding that horizontal seam outward. And repeat for the right side. Now that we've got the three anchor points secured and welded, we can finish by welding the rest of the prefabricated inside corner making sure to weld from the innermost part of the corner to the outside edges. If you weld from the middle outward, it will eliminate any air pockets or unwanted voided areas. To ensure a proper weld, always probe the welded material seams after it is cooled. Never probe while the membrane is hot. For more information and helpful tips, please visit our website.